his car to a repair shop and he says it turned into a nightmare. He says an employee took the car on a joy ride and crashed it. Now he says the shop refuses to take responsibility and he's not alone. Here at ABC 10, we stand for you and we wanted to get answers. ABC 10's Jay Kim spoke to former customers who say this shop needs to be held accountable for their actions. 2021 has been tough for Edward Hughes. His mom and his cousin passed away this year. Then back in August, he took his 1965 AC Cobra replica to Mass Appeal Auto Care in Carmichael, trusting them to fix a minor issue with the car's distributor. That experience turned out to be an absolute nightmare, Hughes says. On the 10th, on a Tuesday, and I got a call at my hotel from the owner of the shop telling me that my car had accidentally been destroyed. Accidentally. Um, it actually happened on the 7th on Saturday night while I was at my son's wedding. He says the shop manager Dylan Dudley contacted him days after the crash, saying an employee was behind the wheel when it happened. Hugh says Dudley initially told him everything would be taken care of, but has since not responded to any of his calls or texts. He refuses to, to talk to anyone, and I'm out $80,000 right now. Now the anger is starting to set in. According to the police report the night of the crash, the person was driving on San Juan Avenue at a high rate of speed when it crashed into a 2010 Subaru Legacy. The report states Rodney Sitman was the driver of the car and was found to be under the influence with the female passenger who was ejected from the car during the crash. The police report says his California driver's license was suspended for a prior DUI conviction and that he was on active DUI probation for the same conviction at the time of the crash. Local musician Jay Diggs says a similar experience happened to him. He says he brought his Porsche Panamera into Mass Appeal Auto Care a few months ago to try and get a catalytic converter issue fixed. A couple of weeks later, Diggs says he went to pick up his car and paid $7,000, trusting the work was done. As soon as I pull off, it's a whole nother light on in my car, something about suspension and something else. So I'm like, hold on. So I drop it back off to him, <laughs> and then I get a call from him a couple days later. Hey, it's another problem that we didn't even notice and blah, blah, it's going to cost 11000 more to fix it. Dick says he came to find out that Dudley took his Porsche out for a joyride after Dudley took pictures of himself in Dick's car and sent them to an employee. That employee forwarding those texts to a friend of Dick's and ABC 10 obtained these screenshots from Dick's. And I already knew that he had got a ticket at my car. Diggs ended up confronting Dudley at the shop about the joyride and the new problems that mysteriously appeared on his car. Diggs recorded the whole exchange and posted it on YouTube and social media. You know, he just starts stuttering and then he just couldn't say nothing else. ABC 10 asked Dudley about both incidents on Thursday involving the Porsche and the Cobra, and he said he didn't know what we were talking about. Another former customer, Kendra Cardin, also reached out to ABC 10, saying that same shop took over $3,000 in financing from her and never performed any of the work agreed upon on the project truck that she and her husband own. You can't mess people over and expect to stand in business taking people's money. Mm, indeed. So what next? We are waiting to hear back from Sacramento County deputies on the investigation. Stay with ABC 10 for updates on air and online at ABC10.com.